Hello everybody, this is LEGO Max 10 and today I'm here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom animated textures for renamed items in Minecraft. So as you can see on this wall in front of me, there are a bunch of items that you can tell the textures are not normally in default Minecraft. Uh, these are textures that I have uh, either copied from the Skyblock Vanilla Plus texture pack, which I'll link in the description, or I have created the textures entirely myself um, for when I'm playing Hypixel Skyblock. So if I go out of F1 mode, you can see the names of all of these items. They're different for different items. So as you can see, Scorpion Foil, Reaper Scythe, uh, Aspect of the Dragons, Reaper Falchion, etc. And as you can see, some of these are actually animated textures. Most notice will be this one, uh, which I created myself. And then the Aspect of the Dragons, Pigment Sword, and Aspect of the End are all animated as well. But they came from uh, Vanilla Plus Resource Pack. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create animated textures for your items based on the name of the item. Alright guys, uh, I forgot to mention something. I am now editing this video, but it turns out that I forgot to mention that you do need Optifine in order for this to work. Uh, just the way that Optifine works, you are allowed to create custom textures based on the name of an item. Uh, so this will not work with normal vanilla Minecraft, however, I believe most people play with Optifine installed, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. But if you don't play with Optifine, uh, there will be a link in the description to download it. So as you can see, I'm now out of windowed mode, um, just to show you my desktop more easily. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your resource packs folder. And you can do this by, uh, when you're in Minecraft, clicking escape, then options, then resource packs, then down here click open resource pack folder. So now I have my resource packs folder open. As you can see, I only have one resource pack right there, my custom texture pack. So if you don't already have a resource pack, uh, there's going to be a template one with a bunch of vanilla textures in the description of this video. Uh, I think it'll probably be for 1.12 textures uh, because I'm not sure how to find uh, any other textures. Um, but I'm sure there's 1.16 default texture packs that you're able to download on the internet somewhere, but I just don't know how to find them. Uh, so after you get that installed, you're going to want to open the texture pack up. And then navigate to where the folder says MC Patcher right here. Click on that. And then now you have a bunch of different options. For this tutorial, I'm showing you how to change the texture of items. So you're going to open up the kit uh, or CIT, I don't know how this is pronounced, folder. And then you'll see a bunch of different options, uh, tools, rods, miscellaneous items, minion stuff, melee, GUI icons, and bows. Uh, so obviously I'm using this texture pack for high pixel skyblock, so uh, some of these things pertain to different uh, things. Uh, I don't believe you actually need these folders, but I like to have them just to keep organized. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate a texture. So I'm going to go to where it says melee because that's one of the textures that I want to animate. Now I'm in this melee folder and you can see a bunch of different names of swords uh, that are in the game. So for the purposes of this video I'm going to create a new texture, show you how to implement that, and then animate it and then show you how to add an additional animation. So I'm going to be animating uh, a frozen scythe texture, but first I need to create that. So I'll be back when I have it. All right, so I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Uh, this is my texture for the frozen scythe, which I'm going to be implementing to my skyblock texture pack. Um, so the, the next thing I want to do is save this picture. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. So before I do that, I'm just going to tell you that I'm using paint.net to make these textures. It's free. There's going to be a link in the description to the software. Uh, I really like it. It's basically Photoshop, but a little bit less, and it's also free. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm using this. So uh, if you do decide to make your texture in paint.net, what you're going to want to do to save it is go to File, then click Save As. So once you have the location you want to save it in, just rename it to the name of the item that you're going to be uh, renaming it. So for me, it's going to be Frozen Site. And then make sure it saves as a .png. And, uh, oh, I misspelled frozen. Frozen. 
So then just click save and it will save to where you want it to go. So now I've located the file where I saved it. And the next thing I need to do is create what's called a dot properties file, which basically tells the game when to use this texture. So to do this, I'm just going to open up another one and save it as a separate file. So I'm just going to open up um, the, the one for the end sword. And as you can see, there's just three lines of code here. It's really easy to understand. There's pretty much only two things you need to switch out. Uh, so the first one being that the frozen scythe's base model is not a diamond sword. It's actually an iron hoe. That's not how you spell hoe, is it? There we go. And then uh, the name of the item is not an end sword. It is a frozen scythe. So I just want to switch that out there. So if you don't already have a dot properties file, which is perfectly understandable, I mean, this is why you're watching this tutorial, what you're going to want to do is basically just type this uh, letter for letter exactly how this is. I will put a, uh, I'll put this exactly in the description so you can change it out for yourself, copy and paste it onto a notepad document. And then to save it as a dot properties file, just go to where it says file, save as, then it'll open up this window and you want to switch it to be the name of your item with an underscore for instead of spaces so frozen underscore site and then do type dot properties and then instead of saving it as a dot txt go down and click all files and then you're ready to click save so one thing I forgot to do was actually put an underscore in the name of the PNG image, so that's the wrong thing. I didn't want to do that. I want to change the name of this to have an underscore right instead of the space. That's a hyphen. There we go. Uh, so now that I have both of these files, I could implement this into my resource pack uh, and it would automatically go into the game. So let me show you that right now. So I have navigated to where I have all of my weapon textures uh, stored. So now I'm just going to go back into here, copy these two files, and drag them in. Just like that. So now it's compressing them because this is a zipped file. And if we look for the frozen scythe, where would it be? F, 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 frozen scythe, right there. So now let me uh, show you in game. All right, so I'm back in my world, and now I am going to show you my frozen scythe texture. So I'm going to first change myself to creative mode then find a iron hoe where would that even be right there go to my anvil and to rename it frozen scythe and there you go the texture just showed up as soon as I typed the last letter so iron hoe right there once I put the E in now it's looking like a frozen scythe so as you can see I now have a custom texture for the frozen scythe but what I really want to do is animate it. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So in order to animate it, go back into your PNG file with the actual texture. And what you're going to want to do is expand the canvas uh, vertically. So if I go to image, then click canvas size, then insert a new height that is a multiple of 16 because that's uh, the dimensions of my main texture. So if I want six frames, I'll just do 96 uh, pixels tall. So now I'll click OK, and as you can see, it's expanded a, a bunch below. So now I need to create this transparent background. So I'm going to highlight every single pixel that is not already transparent and delete them. So as you can see, now I just have this frozen scythe uh, with a bunch of pixels below it. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this six times vertically. Alright, so now I just have the same exact texture six times, um, but what I want to do is I want to alter uh, each of them in order to make an animation. So what I've done here is I've created some semi-transparent pixels uh, just below the blade of the scythe, and I have attempted to make it look like icicles that are falling off of it. Uh, basically they're forming up here, and then they fall off uh, in the frames below. Uh, the problem here is I don't quite have enough uh, frames, so I'm going to actually add a couple more. And so the nice thing about this is you can add as many frames as you want, 
uh, you'll just have to uh, change the code in order to suit that. So I think I'm going to need about three more frames, so I'm just going to change this to 128 rather than 96. So I got my math a little wrong, uh, that was actually only two extra frames, um, but that should be enough for me to finalize this animation. Alright, so now I have it looking as if the icicles are just falling out of the frame and then it will loop back to the top where they are just forming again and hopefully it is a seamless uh, loop. So now what I need to do is actually tell the game to run this animation. So the next thing I'm going to do is save this image again just because I've altered it. So in order to create an animation, I need to create what's called an MC meta file which is different from my dot properties file. And so I'm going to be copying this one that I have for Aspect of the Dragons. Uh, this was made by the person who made the Vanilla Plus uh, resource pack for Skyblock, which I believe is uh, Blaze Warrior. Uh, so th yeah, thank you for making this. I basically learned how to do this from his resource pack. So uh, big thanks to him. Obviously, resource pack in the description if you want to download that. So I'm going to open this up and it will open up another notepad file and as you can see this looks confusing at first um, but it's really not that bad so basically what it's telling the game to do is to run this animation with these frames here so this is essentially the zero frame between these brackets and it's telling the game that each frame should be three frame units long this is kind of a relative uh, time scale so it's not, I don't believe, an actual like measurement of time. Um, but 3 is pretty quick, so I'm actually going to change that to be around 6, so double the length. And then what's going on here is it's saying that there is 5, basically, uh, frames. So because I don't have 5, I believe I have 8 frames, I need to add uh, 2 more. So I'm just going to go comma space 6 comma space 7 and that should in theory I have not tested this uh, that should in theory uh, make the animation work basically what this right here is my zero frame so that's the default texture that it will be reverting to when it's uh, when it's not playing the animation and the time uh, value right here is telling the game how long to wait between running each animation so if you want it to be seamless and run all the time, then change it to the exact same amount that you have here for frame time. So for me that would be 6, uh, but I don't actually want to do that. I want it to be a little pause between each time the icicles are falling off of the site. So I'm going to change this to be around 50. I don't want it to be too long, but I also don't want it to be too short. I want it to just kind of be a, a, a steady uh, falling of the, of the icicles. So now that I have this all done, uh, I'll, I'm not really sure what this index does. I'm pretty sure it's not very important, but if one of you knows what it does, please put it in the comments and I'll pin that comment. Um, because, yeah, I, I don't know what the index does. And I really don't know if it's useful at all. Uh, it might just be for the code. So you'll also be able to find this uh, copy and pasteable in the description of this video if you need to copy that and don't want to type it out. Go ahead, it's going to be down there. I'm going to now save this as an MC meta file by clicking File, Save As, and then it's already defaulted to Aspect of the Dragons.png. I need to change this to Frozen Scythe.png, and uh, it's a little bit strange. It needs to have the .png at the end, and then I need to save it as a .mc meta file, which is very strange, but it's what it's what uh, it's what needs to be done. So I'm just going to type .mc meta right there and then change it to all files again just like I did with the dot properties file uh, and as you can see aspect of the dragons has the same thing it's an aspect of the dragons dot png but it's an mc meta file as you can see right there uh, so now I'm just gonna save this so now you can see I have these three frozen scythe files and now I just need to bring those into my main game folder my resource pack folder so I have it open right here as you can see, this is the two files, the PNG and the .properties from the non-animated version, which I'm now going to get rid of by overriding them with uh, all three of these, because the, the, the properties file is the exact same. Um, 
However, the frozen scythe texture and the .mc meta file are both different, so I can actually don't need to drag the p properties file in. But I do need to drag the other two, and it will prompt me to override and say copy and replace. So now it's imported all three of the textures that I need, and now I will show you this in game. And I hope the animation looks good because uh, I haven't tried this before. Oh, let's go! That looks so good. All right, all right. So I now have my frozen scythe texture, which is animated in in Minecraft. So as you can see in my hand, there's icicles falling off of this frozen scythe uh, as I'm holding it, which is honestly that looks so. I did not expect it to look that good. Uh, so now I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it in an item frame just to. Uh, that is the wrong maneuver I just performed, but okay, let's just grab an item frame because apparently I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to put that in. And there you go. An animated texture in Minecraft. Uh, a custom animated texture in Minecraft. That looks so good. I'm, I'm actually really proud of that, I'm not going to lie. I'm really proud of that texture. Alright, so, uh, so yeah, hopefully you were able to uh, hopefully this video was able to help you uh, if it did make sure to subscribe and like the video obviously uh, I, a lot of people have requested this video um, so so yeah that's uh, why I'm making this and also the last video kind of blew up for some reason so I'm, uh, I don't really know what's going on with that but anyway uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, if you did enjoy it please make sure to like it, subscribe, share it, and favorite it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.